Hello and welcome to the following lesson on progressive wave speed, which is part of the AQA A-level physics topic of waves. So in today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to determine the wave speed of a progressive wave. So if we've been successful and we've learned in today's lesson, we should be able to define the concept of wave speed, calculate the wave speed of a progressive wave and experimentally deduce the wave speed of a progressive wave. So we're going to look at the following parts of the AQA A-level physics specification, 3.3.1.1 progressive waves. And then secondly, 3.3.1.2 uh, longitudinal transverse waves. So we can carry out uh, an equation, a calculation, sorry, to work out how fast a wave travels in the medium by carrying out the following calculation. Wave speed in meters per second is equal to frequency in hertz times by wavelength in meters. Now this equation shows how fast a wave transfers energy through the universe. So the speed of a wave is the distance traveled by each wave every second through a medium. Now it's important to note that all waves have a finite speed because it takes time for energy to propagate from one place to another. Now in many waves, such as light, this time is not perceivable to the human sense, but it is still present. Energy transfer in the universe is never instantaneous. Now just be wary that for this equation to work correctly, you must have the frequency of the wave in hertz and the wavelength in meters. This may mean you have to convert the units of values given to you in questions. Now this equation of wave speed is equal to frequency times by wavelength makes sense when you consider Consider what frequency and wavelength are. The frequency is the number of waves per second, whilst the wavelength is the length of one wave. Therefore, multiplying the two values together gives you a distance travelled by the wave in one second, which is the wave speed of the wave. Again, if you consider our equations, we can say frequency is 1 over time period and wavelength is distance. So therefore, we can say wave speed is 1 over time period times by distance or distance over time. So we say speed is equal to distance over time or frequency times by wavelength. Now it's important to note that the speed of all electromagnetic waves in the universe in a vacuum is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. This is the fastest speed in the universe and nothing can travel faster. So electromagnetic waves will alter their frequency and wavelength to give a speed of 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So this means that the higher the wavelength, the lower the frequency, and the shorter the wavelength, the higher the frequency. Now, if an electromagnetic wave travels in a medium, it changes speed and slows down as the electromagnetic wave hits a substance. Now, the speed of an electromagnetic wave changes as the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave changes. The frequency of an electromagnetic wave remains unchanged at all times after it is being produced. Now a mechanical wave can travel at different wave speeds. Mechanical waves, as mentioned before, are the oscillations of particles. This means energy travels slower in a mechanical wave than in an electromagnetic wave. So a mechanical wave speed depends on the mass of the particles moving and the density of the material. Now generally, uh, mechanical waves travel faster in solids than in fluids. This is because the particles are closer together in a solid as the material is denser, so the vibration are more likely to result in an energy transfer. Now it's important to also note that with this particular equation we've got to know what the terms of frequency and wavelength are. Now it's important to note that in frequency it's given in the units of hertz because hertz is the number of complete waves per second. So for example if you have a frequency of 20 hertz it means there are 20 waves passing a point every single second. So what do we know so far? Electromagnetic waves all travel at the same speed. This is the fastest possible speed in the universe since electromagnetic waves are massive. The speed of all electromagnetic waves in a vacuum is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Mechanical waves all travel at different speeds since this depends on the particle mass and the density. So mechanical waves contain particles with mass so travel slower than electromagnetic waves. So let's now have a look at an example question concerning wave speed. So if we said the wavelength of a wave is 45 meters and the frequency of the same wave is 20 hertz, what is the speed of the wave? So to answer this question, you write out your equation, wave speed equals frequency times by wavelength, you substitute in the values 20 hertz times by 45 meters, then you calculate your final answer, 900 meters per second, giving your answer with the correct units and the correct number of significant figures. Let's have a look at a more difficult example. 
so more difficult questions will include prefixes in the values. So the wavelength of a wave is 24 millimeters and the frequency of the same wave is 31 kilohertz. What is the speed of the wave? So uh, you write out your equation, wave speed equals frequency times by wavelength. You substitute in your values after converting the prefixes. So it'll be 31 times 10 to the three times by 24 times 10 to the minus three, which equals 744 or 740 to the correct number of significant figures, meters per second. Now, as well as calculating the wave speed, you've got to be able to understand an experiment to measure the speed of a wave. Now, the speed of a wave can be measured by reflection. So the first step in this in this experiment is to uh, firstly emit a progressive wave. The second step is that the progressive wave will travel through the air. So the progressive wave will travel through the air like that. Now, remember, this isn't instantaneous for any wave, as all waves travel at a finite wave speed. The progressive wave will then reflect off an object by hitting the object. Uh, now remember it's only a partial reflection as some of the energy of the progressive wave will be absorbed. So what will happen is some of the energy of the progressive wave will, trans will transmit or transfer through the object but most of the progressive wave will travel back to the emitter until eventually the sound wave travels back to the emitter and is detected. We can then work out the speed because speed is equal to distance over time taken but remember the distance travelled is actually going to be two times the distance between the object and the emitter because the wave has gone there and back. Now please be aware that this method assumes that the speed of a wave does not change throughout the investigation, so we're assuming the medium has a constant density and that the wave travels in a straight line. It's also important to note that the intensity of the sound wave decreases the investigation as the object it hits against will absorb an amount of the wave when it reflects against it. So what have we we'll learned in this particular lesson? The speed of a wave can be measured by reflection. So you emit a progressive wave. It will then travel through the air. It will then hit another object and reflect. Then this progressive wave will travel back to the emitter and be detected. And we can work out the speed because speed is equal to distance traveled over time taken. But the distance traveled is two times the distance between the object and the emitter as our wave has gone there and back and this method assumes constant wave speed and that the waves travel in a straight line. So to summarize what we've looked at so far, we've looked at the oscillations of particles of the medium as a wave, understood the ideas of amplitude, frequency, wavelength, speed, phase and phase difference and you can investigate the factors that determine the speed of a wave. So if you've been successful and learned in today's lesson, you should be able to define the concept of wave speed, calculate the wave speed of a progressive wave and experimentally deduce the wave speed of a progressive wave. Thank you very much for watching this lesson on progressive wave speed, which is part of the waves topic in AQA A-level physics. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.